After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out. Down here in Booking, where pretty much everybody comes in for the first time, you know, you get the officer inmate contact, and uh, it just depends on them whether they want things to go smoothly or not. So it's important for us to just, you know, keep everything in here running smoothly so that way, you know, they can get through the process. What are you doing in the bathroom? I saw her, but I didn't see him. Well, no, but I saw him in the corner. She was way over, so I couldn't see her, and he pulled his pants down, so I wasn't about to uh, walk in there with his pants down. You sit over there in the corner. He was going like this real quick. What were you guys planning on doing in there? Depends on how long we were able to stay in there. Sex or if possible? You know, about 10 more minutes, then. So you've been dating recently, then? Okay. She took my virginity. Oh, she did? Yeah, when I got out the joint. Oh, you? how long were you Were you away? Five years. Five years? For what charges? Attempted murder. Attempted murder? Okay, gotcha. What charge are you here on? They said I was trying to commit grand larceny and steal a dog. And stealing a dog? A teacup. <laughs> oh, okay. Yorkshire Terrier. And I'm out on intense supervision at the moment, so I'm not getting out for a minute. Right. For sure. Is that why you went in the bathroom? I could be part of the reason. The other part would probably be because he's so good. Oh, he yeah? Cute. We're going to babies. Lots of them. What, what are you guys planning on doing then? Making the babies in that bathroom. <laughs> were you going to go to pr prison pregnant? or? Mm -hmm. If I was lucky, it didn't work out that you guys decided to come bang on the door and Well, pop. make sure we keep a special eye on you, too. I'm sure you so guys are. Get you through the process and make sure we separate you guys in different cells. This guy developed a plan to steal a puppy. He called up a pet store, found out the animal cost too much, but then he found out that it was at the animal hospital. So he uh, called up the animal hospital and basically asked if, you know, the animal was there. They said yes. He said that he worked for the pet store and was going to go down and pick the puppy up. He calls back and says, well, I'm going to be sending my assistant down. He basically admits he wanted to get his niece a puppy, didn't have 1500 bucks, and basically sent her down to steal the puppy. Well, so like I say, we put you out there on a free arrest. Make sure you don't talk to your girlfriend. Come on, run the booth in the bathroom there. Oh, wow, I'm scared. Hold sit down. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, yeah, let's bring the officers on. Yeah, let's bring them on. Relax. I'm, I'm relaxed. You were? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, I'm relaxed. Whoa. I'm going to face this rear wall right here. Spread your feet. Mm -hmm. Do you have stockings on? Yes, I do. It's got my neck, too. What else you got on? Pantyhose. Pantyhose? And an outfit. Yep. And yeah, dude. Is it laundry day? Yeah, oh, yeah. Pink. Uh, right? pink. That is pink, sir. Oh, yeah. What's. Mm -hmm. That so is. It's like. Yeah, oh, yeah. Pink. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that. Gonna... You were going to. I didn't plan to share that with you guys. Oh, who are we going to share it with? My girlfriend. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and uh, have you change out some of your clothes. You know what I'm saying? That's That's fine. Fine. Yeah, you don't want to wear that to jail. Take your shirt off first. Stay, stay facing, facing the wall. Stay sir. facing the wall the whole time. Just you know what? Face in fact, we could probably uh, just have him take it off. And just have him step, just step, step right, right, right over, over here. There, there, there. there you go. Corner right here. Okay, go ahead and remove your pants, sir. Much for this night. Okay. Have me your pants, sir. Okay, go ahead and take the uh, pink nighty thing off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Face the wall, we're going to give you your clothes back. You got uh, arrested for a DUI tonight. Is that what happened? Evidently, yes, sir. What happened inside the blood draw room that got you agitated? Um, I've been arrested before, but uh, there's some things that just are personal, so. Okay. Like I said. That's understandable. Okay. Not a problem. 
I'm gonna have you come over here and have a seat right over here on the wooden bench now, okay? Alright, we're gonna give you a cool off period in here. Good to go? Yeah, good to go. Thank you. Alright. We'll be back to talk to you in a little while. You know, I'm not sure exactly what got him started out there in uh, pre arrest, but I'm glad we did get him back here and get his uh, pink lingerie off. Can't believe this guy's doing it again. Come here. Get out now. What are you now? You were told not to communicate with her, not to talk I'm to not. her. I'm tired of you. You were standing there blowing kisses. Told he told you not to communicate up. with her. Telling her to shut up is communicating with her. Yeah, Do you understand that? Do you understand the word communicate? I promise that she I promise you didn't. You're full of it. Come on in here and face the wall. Spread your feet. All right. So what happened now? He thought I was communicating. I kind of was communicating. Oh, were you communicating or were you not communicating? There's no kind of was. Kind of like being I said like shut halfway up. pregnant. I kind of said shut up. You know, you I kisses back to her, uh, make no little. No, room. I said shut up. So. So what would make you think you could just go steal a dog? I don't understand that part. The thought process. I look like a person that wants a, a Yorkshire Terrier. I don't know. Go to dog pound and get a dog. All right. Sit in here, start thinking about making the right decisions, so you can get out of jail. Hope I don't talk to you no more tonight. That's easy. Yeah, that, that's, that's enough. All right, listen up. This Why right not? here, this is a list of your charges right here. Grand larceny, burglar, conspiracy, okay? Just make sure you're not talking to the guys on the left side. So just go take a seat in that front row. Can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, you can go ahead. You got a boyfriend in a lot of trouble. If she keeps it up, she'll probably end up in a side cell herself. You know, just not talk to the guys, things like that. So just see how it goes. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Download Veely now. People come to Vegas and think that they can just do whatever they want. Not everybody comes to jail because they're out trying to commit some big crime or trying to hurt somebody. And no matter how many commercials and stuff say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, it doesn't. Because come on vacation, leave on probation, <laughs> return on parole violation. You got to be quiet. We're going to do a couple. We're going to readjust your cuffs, hey, and we're going to take your belt you. and your watch, OK? I apologize to you guys. It's OK. Listen, let me readjust this cuff, OK? Appreciate it. Why are you in jail? Trespass, man. You're man, he did me wrong, man. What was your problem with the guy that was leaving? Was that the one that brought man, you in? He, he, I, I explained to him. He, he need to see the big fish. I'm a lit fish. OK. Well, he's the one that's brought you in? It's a big fish bowl. We got big fish and little fish. I'm a, I'm a smart, I'm smart than everybody up in here. I was born and raised in Las Vegas. I know what I'm doing. You're going to have a seat over here for us, all right? right? Whatever, sorry. I'll call with you. Got Philip. Do me that one little favor and just be quiet. Yes, sir. OK. All right. Thank you. Yeah. They hungry. <laughs> That's it. It's not funny right here. Yeah. I have to admit. Yeah. He seems like you'd be a good old guy, but yeah, his mouth like right that's, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> Who has the best story? Why are you in jail? The best um, story? Why I'm you think in you jail? have the best story? Yes. Why are you in jail? I was in front of a bar with my girl at the end, boy, and boy. I had an open container beer right in, in between my legs. Mm -hmm. And I'm in here because of that. Oh, and I feel that the police out here are very hungry. You know what I mean? Because if you go to the... Um, to Los Angeles or something, like, you ain't go to jail. I mean, we was in the park car yeah. just drinking the beer. Well, know? this isn't Los Angeles. I know, this That's is Las sure. Vegas. And I say they, they hungry out here. But instead of, instead and of I'm, going... I'm in here just for an open container, just for sitting in the Jeep, I mean, in front of a bar, drinking the beer. Is that legal? It's not legal. Well, that's why you come to jail. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Next, what's your lovely story? I never show up for court, period. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd rather do 22 so days. So they'd be really stupid to give you an OR today, today fat, in a court exactly, date. Exactly. And go into detox, then to pay the fines that I have. What was the warrant no, for this time? There's no telling. You don't even know which one it is? Uh, there's probably, well, I think it's probably. Failure to appear, you no, would think. <laughs> it was an undercover cop. And if I gave him a job for five So it was prostitution. Yeah. And then prostitution. you didn't show up they on the prostitution. Me to jail. But I said, if you gave me six seventy-five, at least minimum wage, Your Honor. Do you know she just missed that? Well, he arrested me again. So I'm sure when I go in front of her, and she said, why didn't you show up for court? I'm saying, minimum wage. Minimum wage. <laughs> <laughs> Move! Right? No, I don't want to fight. I want you to get away from me. Ma'am, you're in a Look, jail. I understand I'm in jail. You think I don't know what the then why are you resisting and pulling away from the officers? That was the point. She wouldn't move. That's, you comply, they don't grab you and twist you. Well, here's the thing. So you ask a person down, you ask to move out of their way. She's really? switching you to handcuffs. You kick me, I'm going to give you I a felony kicking. charge. You kick I have a leg. bad leg. He just put his foot on my leg. Oh, no, Thank you. Do you have a trash one? The chair. It's more comfortable than this. You think? No, I know it's not. You're going to the You know it's too busy cracking jokes. Go ahead. Talking to a person that needs help. Unlike you. Someone actually No, someone need who needs help. I do need help. You're gonna get some help. Right in that restraint yeah. chair. Behind you. Where you. Where are you going? The chair's over here. Parker, right there. Help Thank yourself. you very much. Down you go. Put your hands as far down as they can go or it won't be comfortable. Chair works. I'm glad. Keep your legs down. Duh. That's why I was so compliant with you, oh, so really? you would not no, move out yeah. of my yeah. way. You want to act like that? You get treated like that. That's how it works. I'm not acting or being treated. Well, then you're the only one strapped in the chair, and everybody else is just sitting Here's out here. So thing. how's that work? You I don't care about your thing anymore. Here, move her away. Bye-bye. Bye. Whether the person Bye. has underwear on or not. Bye-bye. But you want to pick on me. She thinks she knows how to run the place, so she comes in screaming, yelling, place. can't follow any order. But apparently we're only picking on her, but there's a whole room full of people that know how to cooperate and do what they're supposed to do. So she'll be strapped in that chair. <laughs> she was paying me no mind, told her to sit down, be quiet, went over to her, and she still wanted to challenge me, so I had her sit down. She refused, just stood there in a challenging stance, and she did kick me. So what are you here for today? I can't remember. Just listening, I think. Hands on top of your head. I know, you've been here plenty of times. God. Knows how and it I works. always come with no with legs showing and arms showing. <laughs> Have a seat right here. Let's Frequent flyer here. comes in all the time. She knows how the whole system works. Soliciting prostitution Ooh. was the original charge. Just like she said, she doesn't go to court, so she gets a bench warrant for that charge and now today she's here for the bench warrant. This time the judge will probably give you time and you'll do your 10 days, 15 yeah. days, or whatever. I'm not gonna pay no two hundred, two thousand some dollar fine. So they're gonna I tell the judge to give you time. I just lay down for about twenty days. You'll spend your twenty days in good time. Clean off of the everything, whatever. But then when you go back out, you're gonna start all over again. Yes. I was on a billboard once upon a time. I was Miss Bojangles in this town. Now I'm crippled and old. I don't care now. I still have to sign. This is a copy of why you're here. It's the bench warrant for right. soliciting. You know, you know how the room works, right? Yeah. yeah. So the girls don't talk to the boys. No problem. Let's sit down. She's probably soliciting to support yeah. and drinking. And cheap sex acts. Quick 10, 15 bucks in a night, just so she can go get herself some more alcohol. Right. What she says she does now. booking for the past four years, I'm constantly on my feet and I'm running from the beginning of my shift to the very end. One night it'll be ladies night, the next night it could be people that have been drinking too much and then there's times when people come in and all they want to do is fight. So my job as an officer is to talk to these inmates and pretend that I can relate to them and then if I can do that verbally and not go hands on then I think I've done a pretty good job for that night. You're only six months? No, you pull it off very well. Well, thank you. Uh-huh. 
So you came from city? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what do you do? What do you got to take care of here then? Um, actually, they remand. They gave me a detainer. Uh, I got another court date. I had got released from city, but then they gave me a court date for county. I just went to county court yesterday. All right. So you may not even be here that long then. Okay. This row, all the way down the very last chair. There's times when inmates will have city charges as well as county charges. So they'll go to city, they'll get things taken care of with city. Then they are transported over to us, do their time here, take care of that, and then they'll get released. You said you haven't been in trouble for a while, though, right? Been like four years. <laughs> okay, you're six months pregnant, though. Yeah. All right, so you're done yeah. being more responsible. Yeah. And that's it's my why. First. I know it's your first, and that's what I'm saying, but you said you didn't know until you were three months pregnant. That's why you... No, almost four. Almost four. Okay. So you're not doing crack anymore. No. We're done with that. Yeah. Okay. That's a good thing. If you didn't know about because if you didn't know about then I'd get after I, you. No, but I really didn't. Because okay. I've been in here, I've been coming in and out of here because I've been in prostitution rings. I mean, I've been out here eight years, but I haven't even been doing that. Okay. So the prostitution charge wasn't a recent charge? It was a recent charge. How are you prostituting right now? I'm not. I was in the area. Okay, so that was allegedly. Yeah. Okay. I in casinos, but I was on Tropicana, and that's like a high prostitution area. Okay. All right, you know, we're just both thinking about your baby. That's yeah. all. Okay? No, most definitely. definitely. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, because I see some sad stuff in here, and it makes me sad. I know. It makes me cry. I hear stories. Hang out here for a minute, and then I'll send you through, okay? <laughs> Do you sing country? I'm a professional female vocalist. I sing. What do you sing? I sing everything. Gospel, country, western, rock and roll, rhythm and blues, or rap music. Play the guitar. And you said your your father's a preacher? Yes, I'm a preacher's kid. <laughs> uh, Handcuffs in jail at Los Angeles. Don't worry about it. Everybody makes mistakes, right? I really well, want actually, you to see. They're, they're trying to charge me, and, and they can get away with it. Which is very unfortunate. They can say anything they want to. Who's and they? The police officer. What are they trying to charge you with? They're, I'm not quite sure what they're trying to charge me with, but they threw handcuffs on me. <laughs> and when I told them I just well, I wanted them to be taken home. Was the officer in plain clothes or a uniform? He was in plain clothes. Vice? Yes. Prostitution. He's saying you tried oh, yeah, yeah. to. Well, yeah, but I, that, that's not what you weren't doing. Well, what was happening? You tell me what was happening. What was happening? <laughs> did he. he no, we did not discuss sex. We did not discuss sex. At all. He wanted, he was trying to, and I told him to. Well, look at you, you're hot. Of course he's going to ask you for that. Have you ever been to this facility before? Long, long, long time. What, what was the charge back then? I really believe you on The charge was <laughs> solicitation for prostitution. Well, see, you didn't mention that. Okay. Yeah, you know, sometimes people just can't be honest about the whole situation. You know, honest to yourself about it. I mean, it's not like it would be really unusual for you to be brought in here when you didn't really do that. Did you touch him in any way? Did you ask him any questions? <gasps> You're smiling. At one point, you led him to believe that you were interested in that. It's okay, don't get upset. We're just talking about it. So depressed. Don't be depressed. All right, listen, I'm gonna go, I gotta leave. I'll check on you again, see how you're doing in a little bit, okay? Okay, let me give you a large shirt. And I may not have anything for pants, so you'll probably have to stick with those. Just have to keep holding, yeah, this, that's all I have. But you're dressed out, you shouldn't be too cold. Thank you so much. Okay, this is a copy of your charges. Just like you said, you got the remands for the PCS drug and possession of a dangerous drug, okay? Okay. So they'll talk to you in the next room, too. Have a seat in the third row on the right. Don't talk to the boys, but I know you won't. If you need something, you raise your hand from your seat. I actually feel like she's willing to change her life for her baby, and hopefully she does do that, and especially if not for herself, for her baby. So you'll be down here for a little bit. Like I said, if you bond it, posted bill, you're going to be. going to be posted tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Okay, so yeah. six to 12 hours after that, you'll be out of here. And, yeah. Do you know, did you have your ultrasound yet? Do you know if it's a boy or girl? Yeah, it's a boy. What are you going to name him? Do you know? Uh, yeah, but I better not say. That's okay. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> and then you will have to go to court. It's probably Friday. I saw your charges. You've been here quite often for prostitution. How long ago was the last time? Two years ago. Two years. 
for, for well, you said it was you said it was a while ago it was only two years ago all right ladies so you guys are taken care of and good luck to both of you guys oh yeah you're all worried about that I'll take care of it don't worry about it all right have a better night Sarah who's pregnant she's actually been fun to work with the other female everything's everybody else's fault except for her so there's no accountability so now I've got one happy one one that's not you know it's what you make out of your stay here it's all about attitude personality and it is what it is after arrest and before trial comes jail all suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law As corrections officers, we receive a lot of training in self-defense and how to abate dangerous situations. And a lot of these dangerous situations occur at the drop of a hat, and uh, we must react quickly and contain the situation. And that's actually one of the fun parts of the job. Uh, it's something that you really can't get anywhere else, and uh, that's why I enjoy it so much. Man, You're going to sit here a little longer. Have a seat. Yeah. Sit down. Going with the program, sir. Sit, sit down. down. Sit down. For... I'm already sitting down. You don't come right. push me. You, sir. What's your name? Nah, man. I've been waiting for too long, man. Yeah. Stand up. Over a picture. Stand up, sir. Hey, y'all got me up. Tasing me for no reason. I ain't resisting. I got cuffs on. Yeah, grab the chair. Grab the chair. Hello, here they go. I ain't done nothing. Have a seat. Come on now, I've been tighter for no reason. Nothing but disrespect. I'm not resisting. Why y'all keep saying that? I'm in cuffs. How am I resisting? Okay, all restraints for Titan Spot. Okay. Okay. How are you received? It's probably gonna be terminated. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and debrief in the sergeant's office, please. Okay, officers, who had first contact with him? I did. Okay. Um, I brought him in for a picture. He refused to uh, hold his head up straight, so I just made him go sit back down. Did he do any striking or anything, or was he just uh, frustrated? He no striking, just yelling. He just okay. jumped up and yelled. He, ref he was refusing to sit down, wouldn't follow verbal, verbal orders given to him. Okay. I ain't resisting. Okay, listen to me. The officers are going to give you specific instructions. Don't fight us. I ain't. All right. Does it look like I'm fighting you? Well, you yeah. I'm fighting you. You're laying on the ground dead. Oh. Sit up. Sit up. On three, we're standing you up. One, One. two, three. Stand up. Turn him towards you. Yep. Hey, loosen this cuff. It's cutting into my wrist. I ain't doing nothing, obviously. Cut, loosen this damn thing. Hey, f you. You know that? We'll meet sometime. Pop. Park down here in the corner. You got, you got the wrong person. I'm telling you. I'm truck driver, dude. Okay. Sit back. So I'll come back and talk to you. Charges, burglary, obtaining money under fault. Pretense, non-sufficient funds with checks and grand larceny. Okay, can you go ahead and go over what happened? Uh, as soon as I showed the inmate his charges, he was pissed off that uh, he's not supposed to be here. He pulled his hand away from me, don't touch me, and then it looked like he was going to swing toward me. So I tried to secure his hand, and he started pulling, and, now he, and then he started fighting. So we had uh, other officers came to help. We had to take him to the ground, and he was still combative. He will be looking at uh, possible felony battery by prisoner charges. So if uh, he did strike the officer in the face, Scott, you understand that you cannot get out of control and make moves on anybody. Apparently, one of the officers has damage to his uniform. Well, that was his own doing, man. It wasn't me. Okay. He did that. 
with his friends trying to freaking throw me down. I wasn't trying to get thrown down. I thought it was, it was self defense. I thought he was coming at me, man. It was just a that, I saw. natural reaction. Natural right. reaction. Yes. People sometimes just go off. Sometimes human, just... human natural reaction. Well, it was. Okay. Let's go and stand up. All right, stay facing the wall. You're gonna listen to my instructions real close. All right. Quick search on the uh, suspect. He does have a potential for violence. Uh, he was determined to be homicidal by our team downstairs, so he'll be segregated until our staff determines that he's stable to return to general population. Listen to me, all right? The officers are going to give you specific commands. You must follow those commands, OK? If you do not follow those commands, force will be used against you. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yes? That was a yes, OK? Yeah. Up to and including the electronic control device, the Taser brand. Do you understand that? Oh, brand. They tasered me before I got well, here. Well, no, no, I'm giving you the warning. Oh, all dude, right. please, right, not, so, not the Taser. All right. You comply with no problem, OK? Man, I, anything, right, man. Anything but that, all right? All right, so listen to the officers. They're going to give you specific instructions, OK, Mark? All right. Resume the normal booking process on him. All right, Mark. Out right here in the day room. All right, you're going to have a seat. All right, just be calm. If you need anything, raise your hand. The officers will address. Go take a seat on the left side. Don't talk to the ladies. They'll get you in trouble every time. Oh, I can't talk to the no, ladies. can't talk to the ladies. Oh. Have a seat. Pretend yeah. they're not there. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> I've been with Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for about three months on the job here in the jail. My first official post was down here in booking. We were warned in the academy it was one of the most difficult posts. The people come in right off the street at their highest, whether it be on drugs or alcohol or just an emotional state, excited delirium. These are all very dangerous states. But the minute I heard that, I had to go for it. So I requested booking right off the bat. Didn't matter what platoon, what hours, I just wanted booking. I don't regret it at all. I know I've been assaulted, but, um, uh, no, what happened? This man assaulted me. I made a press charges on him. I swear to God, this man assaulted me, but it's OK, because he had that punk ass badge. Hey, man. I'm sorry, miss. Punk ass badge. No, right, spread his, your feet for me. His bed. Spread your feet. Yeah, what are you brought in for? <laughs> Prostitution. I was trying to pay for my room because I'm sick. I was trying to go to sleep, and he came up to me and offered me a ride. As soon as you get seen by medical, you can go to the restroom, OK? All right, listen up. The second row, all the way to the end, wait for medical to call you up, OK? She was trying to have money to pay for her room. She admits she tried to prostitute herself. She was trying to make a buck. But she chose the wrong John, who's a probably an undercover right. cop. Head up straight, look at the camera, please. Can you put your head straight for me, please? All right, go back out, have a seat where you were. How long have you lived here? Since I was five. Do you have no family here? I grew up in foster homes. And last time I was in here, my caseworker for my CPS case tried to get me in a shelter. They didn't have no room for me. I don't want to get a job. I don't want to live like this. How many times have you been arrested? I've been arrested. I can't count. I was a bad kid when I was in foster homes because I wanted just to go home. I just want to be normal. I've been arrested. I've been, I've been locked up more than half of my life. And really, what I need is help, but I just keep getting locked up. I don't do drugs, I don't steal, I don't cheat, I don't lie. I just need help. There's uh, the chaplain here, Bonnie. And if she can't come down and help you, they can probably get you some information. I can't believe that there's absolutely nowhere for you to go. 
I really hope there's a place for me to and I will go to it. I'll go look into it for you and see what we can get. I would you, okay? appreciate it. <laughs> You want to face the wall for me and spread your feet? The girls have better. If we can finish your room uh, in five minutes, I can take you. Five minutes I'm going to have to dress. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you can't have the same attire as our medical staff. we be in the same building. So we'll go ahead and get you started. Who are you arrested for? <laughs> So you've probably been on the news, huh? You okay? Hang in there. I just killed my husband. I'm gonna have to go dress her out. Come on, let's go this way. Just gotta take the scrubs off of her. So what's this lady's story? She's being booked for murder. She shot her husband early this morning. It's probably on the news. I figured I probably missed something. Right. All right, thanks. Here's a copy of the charges. All right, go ahead and have a seat up front. They're booking her in for first degree murder, so I don't know. First degree murder, that's going to carry a pretty hefty sentence. I could, a lot of time in prison. She's, um, she's basically been a foster child her whole entire life. She has no family here. She's been here all her life, but in foster care. Mm -hmm. um, she's been trying to get her life back on track to get her just three kids. Laura, you you know who Bonnie is, right? Hi, Laura. She's been in here before. Yeah, I think I met you before, yeah. haven't I? Yeah, you have. Officer Paulson said that uh, you were uh, ready to really do something. And, and um, I have a, uh, a friend. Her name's Annie. And she comes into the jail, as a matter of fact, with this worship service. But she also is a, uh, she at one time was a, was a prostitute and, and uh, then turned her life around. And now she has an organization, and it's called Hookers for Jesus. And uh, she even has a house where she uh, puts people up, has let some live there. Oh, that's so, yeah, that's cool. And uh, so that sounds like it might just be right. What we would need to, we could just tap into that. Your life, your life can be different if you're really ready to do that. You know, it, it's really up to you. And if you really, 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 really are ready. It's not about me being ready. It's been me trying to reach out for help and trying to find help. But well, I, I think we found it. Yeah. One step at a time, OK? OK. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right, Laura, if you can do me a favor, go ahead and have a seat up at the first couple of rows, OK? God bless you, Laura. Thank you. She seems like she really wants help. She seems like she wants to start a new beginning. She's got three kids to take care of. so. Hopefully she can start her life over again, get her three children back so they don't grow up in foster homes just as she did. Last night there was definitely a theme for the ladies, just female after female and all very combative. Tonight, hopefully, I'll get a break as far as the females go, but it's not going to be any fun. Every time it seems like I'm going to sit down, I have somebody coming through the door. You just roll with it, and the night will go by fast. OK, so do you want your people to watch me have a seizure? She's pissed because she's hungry. Ma'am, did you tell Sarge about what we talked about? Yes, I did. You expressed that? You said yes. that you haven't ate since early this morning? That's right. And then you just came to jail now, but you know if you have seizures that you should eat, but you chose not to eat because you chose to drink instead. That's right. There we go. So I just don't see how it's our fault. I didn't say it's your fault. No, you did. You just said we're going to let you have a seizure. You're no, gonna you're going to let yourself. You chose alcohol over food. Not very good prioritizing, I'm just saying. Okay, so now that I'm here and now that you've arrested me. So it's our problem me, now. Yes, I see that. Yes, I didn't arrest you, your but okay. <laughs> Shh, you guys aren't helping. Oh, well, why should they help? Why should they help you when they've been sitting here since one, two o'clock? Calm down and conserve your energy, ma'am. When you get over to see medical, they will give you food. 
my blood level is at an eight. It's supposed to be at an eleven. I just got out of the hospital. You just told yesterday. us all that. Sarge just told you the answer. What, what are you going to argue with? You will get food from medical staff if they deem that necessary. Okay. How long is it going to take for me to see medical? Probably an hour, hour and a half. An hour, hour and a half. It usually doesn't take that long. So relax and conserve your energy. When I kill over and I have a seizure, so you're a head. You will hold yourself personally responsible. You heard that right. Okay, listen. Okay, I'm getting tired of it. The sergeant says he would help you out. You're what so more cute. do you want? What more do you want? You're so cute. Okay, Look let me tell you what. Are you suicidal? No. Okay, no. now here's your choices. You can either go to the next room and be seen by medical and get crackers, or I will take you to a side cell based on your behavior and you will not get anything. It's a choice. You've got to behave while you're out here, so just like everybody else. Cute. Thank you. Stand up. Stand up. This is me helping you stand up. Walk. There you go. It was a bad decision, ma'am. Very bad decision. Why? Because you're cute. Oh, I appreciate the flattery, but I don't swing that way. I said she was cute, and she is like man. You're disrupting my area. You are man -handed. Oh, you would like that too much. Spread your feet. You don't think you're cute. Them. No, I don't. Come on. Put your knees up on the bench. Knees on the bench. There you go. Come on. You're not getting our phone numbers, though. You're still cute. Oh, thank you, honey. See how that goes? Now, where's my ring? So she comes in, she's demanding, saying that she's hungry and she's going to have seizures. And I asked her when the last time she ate, and she said it was early this morning. I go, what have you done since from then until now? She goes, well, I've been drinking. So I'm like, okay, well, where's the accountability? You have seizures, but you're going to drink instead of trying to eat. So that's what she's been upset about, is because we won't give her any food. I'm not gay, but you're so cute. Ma'am, you're going to be in here for a little bit until you can calm down. So I'll check on you in a couple hours, and I hope you're doing better. Officer, officer, I want to go home. I want to go home. I'm Canadian, and I'm going to sue everybody in Las Vegas. So you know. I'm just trying to get you off these cuffs, all right? I'm trying to go back to Vancouver. Back to Canada, the land of the free. And everybody who's in America. So I want to talk to the Canadian Embassy right now. I know my rights. Right. Yeah. No, I want to talk to the embassy. I'm sensing a theme. A lot of females and a lot of drama with them. I want to talk to the Canadian embassy. Pam. Pam. No, <laughs> ma'am, I want to talk to the Canadian embassy. I know my rights. I am not stupid. I know my rights. Well, you're acting really stupid right now. You don't have that right. I want to go home. You have any medical problems? Taking any medicine for anything? No. The Canadian okay. Embassy right okay. now. Goodbye. Come on. Okay. Have a seat in the back row. Yes, you want to tell me what happened? She's been charged with violating airport rules. I guess the airline lost a piece of her luggage. Right. So she was in the baggage claim office trying to work things out. And she just went off on yeah. them. She started cussing, screaming, and giving them a hard time. I tried to give her a chance to walk away. She, she wouldn't take it. So. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, I want every badge number that with me tonight okay because I know my rights give me a reason why I'm in handcuffs because you know what I know my rights I have done nothing wrong here. can I ask you something talk to me please you'll answer ask me you. okay have you been drinking yes I drink on the plane but I'm trying to understand Be why I'm in handcuffs because right now why I'm you here. listen you don't listen nothing. you don't listen you don't listen, and I'm just guessing here that maybe alcohol has made you a little bit more emotional, and you didn't listen to the people that stopped you, and that's how come you're here. Okay, man, I want to get my handcuffs off. I want to go back to Canada, the land of the free, because you know what? America is not the land of the free. Let's just leave it alone, because you just get more upset the more you think about it, and that's not helping you out here at all. Good luck to you, ma'am. That's just an example of people coming to Vegas and not able to control their, their alcohol intake. But you can't tell them differently, not until they sober up and realize.
it's been a little bit since I've talked to the inmate we took back to the side cell, so we're gonna go back, see how she's doing. What did you do out there to get you in here? Actually, I'm not gay. I'm sorry. I know, I know. You, but you were trying to be funny in front of all the other inmates. Why are you here? I slapped my daughter. Okay, so you got into a domestic with your daughter? What was happening? I was drinking and she wanted me to stop. How old is she? 22. You feel bad, don't you? I can tell. You're an alcoholic, ma'am? Do you see a pattern here? People are trying to help you and you don't see it. I had four years of OK, well, I hope you're doing better. I'll be back. Things are looking better for her. Maybe we can get her out and get her processed. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids, I don't wanna